Hey, welcome everybody. It's so good to have you here on Capra Convos. We got a special thing going on here. Capra Convos from Tanzania. And I've got my special guest, my special friend, John Mwafwembo. John is a pastor, a bishop, I mean, and my friend, <laughs> most of all. <laughs> and thanks for <clears throat> having us come to Tanzania and minister here. Yeah, it's very nice to see and to meet my brother Dennis and uh, his wife and his fellows from Kansas City. So when they came to our country and uh, to minister to our people, it was very nice. Very nice, really very nice. So we came here, uh, we had a conference. We had a conference for pastors, leaders, and everybody else. And then we had a women's conference. Tell us some of the things that you heard or were said that they don't normally hear. You know, as I said, we are very happy to see these guys from America because they came to train us, to train our people, to teach our people the things which we don't know before. And we don't practice on it like a prophet and uh, to teach us much about the grace of God. So it was very unique, unique to our people here. So, so the grace of God, they heard some of the prophetic. Uh, but what we do is we like to get people involved. So not only are we teaching and training, but we're getting them to use their gifts. How important do you think it is when people are able to use their gifts and practice? And as I said before, these people are here by the grace of God. <laughs> and uh, I mean it that uh, from yesterday, I think from the day when we began, we began our conference, people now started to practice about it, to prophesy. Yeah, to prophesy to, prophesy to other people. And it, People are very, very, very happy to know about this. Mm. You know, the scripture in Ephesians 4 is the fivefold ministry's job is to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. And our heart is so to equip the saints. Uh, we had another guy down here from Kenya who started in our church many years ago. Uh, we're trying to get a Bible school started here because John knows the importance as well as us to get people to know the word so they can prosper. Also, John, we were talking earlier about you have been in Rwanda, you have been in the Congo. Uh, when you go to those places, you've seen some really rough stuff. Mm -hmm. How does the go how can the gospel affect those places? Uh, you know, I've been in the Congo and in Rwanda before genocide, and uh, I knew the, the people there was very, very, not well in faith, faith care because even the period of genocide, you know, some people are killed, Christian killed other Christian, you know, because of the lack of knowledge and uh, lack of wisdom, you know. So we want to, here in Tanzania to have a Bible school, a place where we can teach people about love, come on, and the grace to love each other without limitation, without borders. So we want to have a Bible school here in order people from other places, also from Tanzania and our neighbor countries to come and to learn more about, about God's grace here. Well, I just want to say this, before he ever knew about the word grace and the Bible teaching of grace, John gives grace to people. <laughs> John loves people. John has brought so many people into his home that now live here. He's helping them. He gives them work. John has a clinic on his site, uh, a place where they can get dental work done. He's helping the people of this city. And I believe the gospel needs to work in people's lives to where they're affecting other people. What would your thoughts be about that? Yeah, as you said that he, I want to, to confess that my house is the house of people from all, all and over the world. And it's true. <laughs> and from all nations. So we have a, and we, I love, I love to, to, to help people. Uh, and, and the Lord he showed me before, even before me to be a pastor, he showed me in a dream that he, many people will come to me 
will come to us to get help. And now we have a clinic here and we are blessing to, to the people of Singida and, the, and the, we have a good church here. People are coming here and they get healed and they get and hearing the gospel and we are here and people from, from because Singida we are surrounded by colleges and the schools and also the students like to come even to my house, even to our church, you know. It's what, it's what I do, and he, God calls me to do that. And you do it well, brother, and I want to thank you for it. You. Uh, if you're out there, you've been listening to this broadcast, you know, we had a lot of miracles this week because that's what God does. And you need a miracle in your body. Well, we're going to pray for you right now. Just wherever it is on your body, you're needing God to touch you, just put your hand on it right now. We're just going to agree together, Father. Father, I just thank you with my brother John. We just agree the word of God is in operation, and we thank you for healing people, setting them free. I mean, arms being ex that were extended hurt. God, I pray for healing there, people's eyes. We just thank you, God, for people that are going through physical infirmities. We just thank you by the word of God. They can and will be healed in Jesus' name. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for being with thank us, John. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> uh, you can go to Capperman.com. Wow. Tell us how things are going with you. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.